Hello guys. Let's start here with a free hosting and then see how you can do. So this is the hosting company we are going to register with. So And how you get here, you just go to sign up, free sign up, then provide your email address, okay, just provide your email address, then your password, so just provide your password. And then your web name you can choose any name say let's say joseph and then you click on continue or get free hosting check this Select all squares with seasons. <laughs> okay, get started. Okay. So a message will be sent to your email address just go to email address and confirm the message before you proceed okay so click here to confirm After confirmation, after confirmation, just click on build websites. So you click here, build websites. Now, when you click on build website, then you come here and click on build wordpress website so you click on here then here is your admin name you can choose any name let's say let's say joseph and your password you choose any password you like okay so let's see then your url Okay, let's choose. Sorry, and we do save. Password. Okay. So, if you want, you can choose any URL you want. So, for instance. Let's use this one in the language to be English, then install. And you see WordPress will be installing all your hosting or your domain name.
Okay, so you see, congratulations. It's ready. Your wiper is now ready for configuration. Now, just click here. Go to configuration page. So, provide your email address or the username. My username was Joseph. And then, provide your password. Login. Now you have logged into your WordPress dashboard. Okay. So when you are here, this this is your website. Okay. We call this one the front end. So this is the front end of your website and my URL is this one or my web address is this one. Okay. This is my web address. I will call it the front end of your website. Now where you manage everything is called a, it's called a back end of your website. So the back end of your website starts from here where you can manage everything before you publish everything before it comes to life. If it comes to life here. Now, when you when you install WordPress, automatically they will give you a team. This is a team you are, you have everything. This is automatically done. This is automatically done. So this team is given for you for free. Okay, but we are going to provide our own team. Okay, so we don't like this team. We are going to provide our own team. Now, you save everything. So this is a hosting company. Now add me add me URL. This is the add me URL. Then you have add me username. Joseph. Okay, so you see the written on your notepad. Let's you forget. Now, when you get here, you just go to post. Okay, check all post. They're going to do some clearance here because they don't like what we see here. Hello world, welcome to WordPress. You don't like it, so just go to post and you see the hello world. Okay, just click on Bean. Or delete just click on bin or delete now you go to the bin and delete it permanently okay so let's refresh our website and see you see it's not there okay now there are some things here so we don't like so just go to you go here just go to appearance okay when you go to appearance just go to wages now you see the wages here these are what you see here okay these are the wages okay we call it the sidebar wages so if you don't like this one for instance you don't like the the meter you don't like metadata then just click it click on it and delete it now you see, you don't also like maybe archive. Also go there and delete archive. Okay, delete archive. Now let's refresh our website and see. Now you see all are deleted. Okay, so let's leave the recent comments and categories. Okay, or we can also do away with the recent comment. Let's read it. Read the recent comments. Okay, so you have recent posts and categories only. Okay. Now refresh it and let's see. Okay, so this is what we see. 
Now, we are going to configure. Let's see. You don't want this team. Okay. You don't want this team. But for the meantime, let's go to our dashboard and create pages and post for our website. Okay. Now, you click on pages. You click on add new page. So, the page we can call it. You can call it about us. Create one page about us. Then click on publish. Now add a new page. New page. Call it contact me or contact. Then click on publish. Okay. So let's go and refresh our website where you can see what we created. Okay. So it's already created and let's visit the pages and see. You see the contact is here. Now again go to your appearance. Okay, let's create the category before. Go to post and create categories. Now let's create a category. Let's say business. Okay, then create a category or add to category. It has been added. Let's go to another one. Let's say investments add to category. It has been added. Okay, let's go to another one. Let's say importation. Then add to category. It's added. Then let's go to another one. Let's say news. Let's add to category. That is add it. And let's create another one. Maybe entertainment. Just copy, create a category, then it's created. Okay, so now we have created our categories and pages. Now, let's come to appearance and go to menus. We are going to arrange the categories we have created. Okay, now. You see, since we have not created categories, we have created categories for the pages and the things we created. So just create, you come here, just create a new, just edit your category or create a new one. So click on create a new one. Okay. Let's name this main category. Main category. So click create menu. Okay. Now the moment you do that, you see this one comes. So let's select all and then add to menu. Okay. So when you add to menu, let's just menu go to the top of the page. So let's click on top menu and click on save. Okay, so let's go to our website and see where we can find it there. Okay, so we can find it here. Okay. Now, you don't like the sample sample page, so just remove it and click on save. Okay. So, 